Thank you, everybody. Always a good time at Serene Stadium. Greenville looking to lock up a first round home game in the playoffs next week. A win against Easley, and they would do just that. Let's pick this game up opening quarter. First drive for Easley. Will Patton calling his own number. He's calling and hauling 60 plus yards to pay dirt. Easley strikes first, 7 0. But later in the first quarter, Bryson Drummond for Greenville just hitting Rashad Robinson, who goes right, and then, eh, actually, I'm going to go back the other way. And, yeah, works out just fine. Finds a hole, and ultimately the end zone, that ties it at seven. Second quarter, easily back to punt, and Braden Renfro comes up with a return, and he's going to take it 55 yards to the house. 21-7 Greenville at that point, and they get the 42-14 win. All right, let's keep it moving on. Week 10 of Friday Night Hits. The Daniel Lions, still kings of their jungle, clinching a fifth straight region title last week, closing the regular season in Central tonight against Crescent. The Tigers have six wins for the first time since 2018. Had no answer for Daniel, however. Lions leading 30-0 under a minute to go in the half. Colton Chapman, look out now. Nick's Graydon in the corner of the end zone. Makes a great play, but as you can see, that ball dropped. Still ruled a touchdown, so 37-0 Daniel at half, and they're just salting it away in the second half. Lee Turnip seed breaks a couple tackles into the red zone. Daniel completes a perfect regular season, 50 to nothing. Liberty and Chesney both playoff bound. Seating still up for grabs. 41 seconds left in the first quarter. Chesney with the lead and the ball. Austin Bigford, big 33, breaking through the crowd of Red Devils. Breaks free for their second touchdown of the night. And Chesney's got a 14-0 lead. Under four minutes left in the half. Chesney with the ball again. Hayden Webb, he's breaking on out of there for another Chesney touchdown. They go up 21 to nothing, but Liberty rallies all the way back after he left with a 36-35 win. The Greenwood Eagles at home getting pickings. Eagles leading 14-7 with the ball in the second quarter. Tristan Lewis, the Greenwood quarterback, rolling out. Oh, a little stutter to evade the pressure. I see you. And he sees Thomas Chandler, and Chandler is going toward goodness. 21-7 Greenwood. Same score, same quarter. Greenwood with the ball again. Alon Wade around the outside, 20 yards for another Eagles score. 48-14 Greenwood on top of pickets. Clinton has found its stride in region play. Three straight wins for last year's three upper state finalists heading down to Emerald this evening. Red Devils could ride some momentum into the playoffs with a fifth straight win against Emerald, but the Vikings came out fired up and the Red Devils were ready. Scoreless early, but not for long. Caden Crawford with the sweep gets to the edge. Some nice blocking there. Holds off the charging defenders, dives into the paint. Touchdown, Clinton. Seven nothing later in the quarter. Tawashan, Tyshawn Richardson running around back there. Somehow frees himself up along the sideline, rips a dime to Zay Johnson. Red Devils running hot and they roll 51 to 13. Get to the choppa. Sky four and Taylor's rivalry game between Eastside and Wade Hampton. Nothing new in opening quarter. Generals moving the ball. Jack Step on the money to Jamari and McKinney. That's a really good throw right there. Call that an explosive play. Wade Hampton wouldn't be able to capitalize. Final minute of the quarter. Peyton Schrader steps up finds Noah Honeycutt, and Honeycutt's got a lot of grass to cleave for the big, big, big touchdown as Eastside goes on to get a 28-14 win. Powdersville at Palmetto. Patriots have won two of their past three with a comfortable lead here, and Brandon Waldrop tacking on from eight yards out. gives Powdersville a 33-7 lead after the extra point, and that is how the score would stay. Powdersville gets the 33 the seven win to close out the regular season five and five. And as we close the show tonight, an incredible moment of Traveler's Rest. This is senior Carson McLeese leading the team out of the tunnel. Carson has autism. He is unable to play, but the Devil Dogs surprised him tonight. He suited up, led the team out onto the field. Carson loves sports, loves the Devil Dogs. He's the film coordinator for football, basketball, and baseball. Coach saying Carson is the epitome of what being a Devil Dog is all about. That's good stuff right there. That'll do it for us. Week 10 of Friday Night Hits is in the books. The regular season done. It's time for the playoffs for Chase and our entire hardworking crew. Thanks, as always, for joining us. We'll see you next week. Same time, same place.